Hi, my name is David Pye, Portfolio Advisor for Building Services Engineering here at City and Guilds. I'm going to introduce you to the sample curriculum plan for the Level 3 Advanced Technical Diploma in Electrical. Looking at the sample curriculum plan, you'll see three terms shown in red, blue and green. The purpose of this sample academic planner is to highlight the key dates that you will need to prepare your learners for their final assessments. Ensuring that your delivery model fully prepares the learners for the practical end synoptic assessment and knowledge test. There will be two primary methods of assessment. Firstly, the synoptic assessment marked against assessment objectives and secondly, the written end assessment which will confirm the breadth of knowledge and understanding. The units in the Electrical Technical Diploma are 301 Planning and Overseeing Electrical Work Activities 302 Principles of Electrical Science 303 Electrical Design and Installation Practices and Procedures 304 Principles of Inspection, Testing, Commissioning Electrical Systems 305 Inspecting, Testing and Commissioning Electrical Systems 306 Electrical System Fault Diagnosis and Rectification 307 Requirements for Electrical Installations Looking now at the Academic Planner Term 1 To prepare your learners for these key assessment dates we would suggest you deliver in the first term Electrical Science and Electrical Installations modules alongside each other embedding site planning and overseeing during the technical delivery. At the end of the first 12 weeks of learning, we suggest a formative assessment to ensure learners have understood the content so far. This would enable you to start delivering electrical design and inspection and testing in week 13, just before the end of the first term, whilst embedding fault diagnosis and rectification. Term two. In term two, we suggest you continue to deliver design, inspection and testing and fault diagnosis modules, working towards a formative assessment of each module by week 24. In week 18, City and Guilds will release to centres the requirements for the final synoptic assessment. This window of opportunity is now open and you have 12 weeks for your learners to complete this practical assessment but we suggest you wait until week 26 to start this synoptic assessment to allow for completing of delivery and preparation for assessment. These results need to be submitted to sitting gills by week 30. Term 3. Week 25 will be the first opportunity for your learners to sit the external set and externally marked knowledge test, with week 33 being the second opportunity. Results of the first sitting will be communicated back to the centre by week 30, so learners will be notified in advance of the second and final opportunity before re-registration is required. Learners will be available on this curriculum plan to sit the synoptic assessment from week 26 to week 30, which will allow some time to support synoptic preparation by completing firstly some sample assessments. Week 30, centres are required to upload results of synoptic assessment. Learners then have an opportunity for the employer involvement requirement of the qualification, work placement opportunities and revision towards a reset if required. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like any further information, please contact me or your business manager or you will find more information on our website www.sittingills.com forward slash techback. Thank you.